हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे बी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट आवर वेबसाइट फॉर द आदर्श चैप्टर द वेबसाइट लिंक इज इन योर डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स So hello everyone now this is the last part from the circles 15.1 exercise for the previous one please check the description box the link will be there in this video i am going to start from sum number 16 to end so here in sum number 16 in the figure 1 given below cp bisect angle acb okay cp bisect this one prove that dp bisect Angle A D B. Okay, you have to prove that D P bisect angle A D B. Here this one angle A C B and here this one angle A D B. So angle A C B and angle A D B are lie on the same segment. Okay, I hope you know that formula. If sorry, that theorem, not formula. If two Angles are lie on the same segment, then these two angle will be equal. That means angle ACD equal to angle ADB. Clear? Similarly, angle ACP and angle ADP. I repeat, angle ACP. Angle ACP means this portion, this red one. It's angle ACP. and angle adp this portion okay these two angles are also equal because these two angles are also lie on the same segment now in your problem here it's given that cp bisect angle acb that means angle acp equal to half of angle acb okay Angle ACP equal to half of angle ACB, and here angle ACP is equal to with angle ADP. So instead of ACP, you can write down. Sorry, uh, instead of ACP, we can write down here angle ADB. Angle ADP, that one equal to half. and again as you know that acb acb sorry this one is here acb acb is equal to with adb so instead of acp we can write down adp instead of acb we can write down adb so here angle adp equal to half of angle adb that means dp bisect the angle a d b it's a very easy problem okay now next one number b in the given figure given below bd bisect angle abc okay prove that ab by bd equal to be by bc so that means here you have to prove that the ratio of two sides is equal to the ratio of another two sides so to prove this theorem you have to apply the similarity rules so first here i join c and d so if i join cd then i have two triangles triangle number 1 that is abe and triangle number 2 that is bcd triangle abe and triangle bcd now in this two triangle angle a equal to angle d this angle is equal to with this one because both angles are lie on the same segment now next one here angle abe is equal to angle dbc okay that means this one abe this angle is equal to angle dbc as bd is the bisector of angle abc that's why Angle ABE equal to angle DBC. So now we can write down triangle ABE similar with triangle BCD. Okay, 
ट्राइंगल ए बी ई सिमिलर विथ ट्राइंगल बी सी डी दे आर फोर ए बी बाई बी डी इक्वल टू बी ई बाई बी सी ओके ए बी बाई बी डी इक्वल टू बी ई बाई बी सी इट्स प्रूफ नाउ नेक्स्ट वन सम नंबर सेवेंटीन इन सम नंबर सेवेंटीन अगेन टू प्रॉब्लम आर देयर नंबर वन इन द गिवेन फिगर गिवेन बिलो कॉड्स ए बी एंड सी डी ऑफ अ सर्किल इंटरसेक्ट एट ई क्लियर प्रूफ दैट ट्राइंगल ए डी ई एंड सी बी ई आर सिमिलर ओके सो हियर यू हैव टू प्रूफ द ट्राइंगल ए डी ई एंड सी बी ई ओके नाउ एंगल बी एंड एंगल डी आर इक्वल इन ट्राइंगल ए डी ई एंड ट्राइंगल सी बी ई फर्स्ट एंगल बी इक्वल टू एंगल डी बोथ आर लाई ऑन द सेम सेगमेंट दैट्स वाई इक्वल एगेन वी कैन राइट डाउन एंगल ए इक्वल टू एंगल सी सिमिलरली दिस टू एंगल्स आर ऑल्सो लाई ऑन द सेम सेगमेंट सो दिस टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल दैट मीन्स एंगल ए डी ई सिमिलर विथ ट्राइंगल सी बी ई बाई द रूल ए ए एंगल एंगल ओके सो फर्स्ट पार्ट प्रूफ Now next one number two, given DC equal to twelve, DE equal to four, DC that one twelve, DE equal to four, AE equal to sixteen, AE equal to sixteen. Calculate the length of BE. So as here DC equal to twelve, DE equal to four. That means EC. E C equal to twelve minus four. That one equal to eight. Okay. E C equal to twelve minus four. That one equal to eight. And A E equal to sixteen. Then the chords A B and C D intersect each other at the point E. So we can write down here A E into E B and C E into E D by the Theorem. I hope you know that theorem. So here A E sixteen. We don't know the value of E B, but we know C E eight and E D equal to four. So E B equal to two centimeter. Okay, that is your answer. Now next one number B. In number B, A B and C D. A B and C D. are two intersecting chords of circle name two triangles which are similar name two triangles which are similar hence calculate cp given that ap okay so first uh, you have to prove two triangles which are similar okay so as here angle which one which one angle dab this angle angle d a b equal to d a oh, sorry uh, not this one d a b so the lower one d a b this one d a b equal to angle d c b okay d a b angle d c b d c b this two a lie on the same segment D A B and D C B are lie on the same segment, so these two angles are equal. Again, similarly, angle C D A, C D A, this one, C D A and equal to angle C D A and C B A, C B A. These two, these two angles are also lie on the same segment. so cda and cba these two angles are also equal that means triangle apd triangle apd similar with triangle cpb so we can write down here ap by pd sorry it's pd ap by pd equal to cp by pb 
now you know the value ap equal to 6 pd we don't know the value of pd cp cp equal to here uh, we also don't know the value of cp uh, and next one pb pb equal to 4 pb equal to 4 here cd cd equal to 14 cd equal to 14 now you know that uh, cd means cp plus pd so if i let this one x so this one will be 14 minus x it's clear okay so now 6 into 4 24 and here cp into pd that means x into 14 minus x so x into 14 minus x that one equal to 24 so minus x square plus 14x minus 24 equal to 0 x square minus 14x plus 24 equal to 0 clear now by middle term factorization it will be x minus 12 and x minus 2 as the two factors so x equal to 12 or x equal to 2 okay x equal to 12 or x equal to 2 here given that cp or pc greater than pd okay pc greater than pd so as here pc equal to x so definitely your answer will be 12 because 12 is greater than uh, 2 so here pc equal to 12 that is your final answer now next problem some number 18 in the adjoining figure ae and bc intersect each other at the point d angle cde equal to 90 degree ab equal to 5 centimeter bd equal to 4 centimeter cd equal to 9 centimeter find ang uh, side de okay so first join ab and ce join ab ab uh, and here ca so ce clear so now angle cde equal to 90 degree it's given ab equal to 5 centimeter bd equal to 4 centimeter cd equal to 9 centimeter so from the triangle triangle a d b a d b the small triangle it's a right angle triangle so a b is the hypotenuse a b square equal to a d square plus b d square a b is 5 centimeter so 25 a d we don't know the value of a d and b d equal to 4 square that means 16 so here a d equal to a 9 root 9 that means 3 okay a d equal to 3 centimeter now uh, in the diagram here a e a e and b c both are the chord of the circle okay i repeat a e and b c are the chord of the circle which are intersect at the point d which are intersect at the point d so we can write down a d into d e equal to b d into d c i hope you know the theorem it's written on your book so here 3 into d e equal to 4 into 9 3 9 is a 3 uh, so here d e equal to 12 uh, it's not 3 9 is a uh, when 9 divided by 3 it becomes 3 so d e equal to 4 into 3 12 so your final answer equal to 12 clear okay now next one number 19 so in some number 19 uh, here is the diagram in the given figure given below pr is the diameter of the circle pq 7 cm qr 6 cm rs 2 cm calculate the perimeter of the cyclic quadrilateral so here is the diagram pq 7 qr 6 and rs 2 cm uh, you have to find out the perimeter okay so here angle q this angle as here p r is the diameter so angle angle p q r equal to 90 degree 
angles on the semicircle. So, P R is the hypotenuse P R square equal to P Q square plus Q R square by Pythagoras theorem. So, P Q square means 7 square that means 49, Q R square means uh, Q R 6 that means 36. So, 49 plus 36 equal to 85. Okay, that means P R square equal to 85. Now, again, angle P S R equal to again 90 degree because P R is the diameter. So, another semicircle. So, here P R square equal to P A square plus R A square. So, P R square, you know the value 85. We don't know the value of P A square, but you know R A square means 4. So, 85 minus 4, it's 81. Then P A square 81. So, P S equal to 9. P S, this one equal to 9. Now, you have to find out the perimeter. Perimeter means addition of all side. 7 plus 9 plus 2 plus 6. That will be your perimeter. So, that one equal to 24 centimeter. So, easy one. Now, next one, number 19B. In the problem, in the given figure, the diagonals of a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D intersect in P and the area of the triangle A, P, B is 24 centimeter square. If A, B equal to 8 centimeter, C, D equal to 5 centimeter, calculate the area of triangle D, P, C. Okay. So, here uh, in this triangle, uh, triangle APB, uh, the area, okay, the area of APB equal to 24 centimeter square, AB equal to 8, AB equal to 8, CD equal to 5, this one equal to 5, calculate the area of the triangle DPC, okay. So, first angle APB, this angle is equal to with this one vertically opposite angle okay angle a p b equal to angle d p c vertically opposite angle then again angle a sorry angle a b p angle a b p this one is equal to angle d c p this angle because these two angles are lie on the same segment that means triangle ABP similar with triangle DPC or DCP okay by AA rule so now if these two triangles are similar so here you can apply the theorem if two triangles are similar then area area of triangle ABP divided by area of triangle DPC equal to AB square by CD square. I hope you know that here area equal to 24. Here you have to find out the area of DPC. AB square means 64 because 8 square. CD square equal to 25 because 5 square. So, from this equation, you will get the value 75 by 8. You can also convert this one into mixed fraction. Okay. Now, the last one, sum number 20. So, guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So, here, the last one, sum number 20. In the given figure given below, QPX, QPX is the bisector of angle yxz bisector okay of the triangle xyz prove that xy is to xq equal to xp is to xz okay so now from the triangle triangle here xyq triangle xyq xyq this triangle and triangle XPZ, XPZ, this triangle. Angle Q equal to angle Z lie on the same segment. 
एंगल वाई एक्स क्यू इक्वल टू एंगल पी एक्स जेड बिकॉज क्यू एक्स इज द बाई सेक्टर दैट मीन्स दिस टू ट्राई एंगल्स सिमिलर विथ ईच अदर देन डेफिनेटली एक्स वाई बाई एक्स पी इक्वल टू एक्स क्यू बाई एक्स जेड ओके नाव एक्स वाई बाई एक्स क्यू कैन जस्ट इंटरचेंज द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स पी एंड एक्स क्यू सो दैट वन इक्वल टू विथ एक्स वाई इज टू एक्स क्यू एंड हियर एक्स पी इज टू एक्स जेड इट्स प्रूव ओके नाउ द लास्ट वन द कॉर्ड्स बी ए एंड डी सी ऑफ आ सर्किल मीट एट पी ओके गुड मीट एट पी प्रूव दैट एंगल पी ए डी पी ए डी दिस एंगल इक्वल टू पी सी बी ओके सो एस हियर पी बी पी बी इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके पी बी इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सो पी ए डी प्लस डी ए बी इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री एगेन एंगल पी सॉरी इट्स पी पी सी बी प्लस एंगल डी सी बी इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री बिकॉज पी डी इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सो यर दिस टू इक्वेशन विल बी इक्वल बिकॉज बोथ आर इक्वल टू विथ वन एट्टी नाउ एगेन इन दिस ट्राई एंगल दिस टू एंगल दैट मीन्स एंगल डी ए बी एंड एंगल डी सी बी आर इक्वल बिकॉज दिस टू एंगल्स आर लाइ ऑन द सेम सेगमेंट सो इफ दिस टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल देन डेफिनेटली पी ए डी इक्वल टू विथ पी सी बी फर्स्ट पार्ट इज प्रूव now the next one number 2 pa into pb equal to pc into pd so here first just wait one minute okay so here first uh, let triangle pbc and triangle pad you have to show that these two triangles are similar with each other in pbc in pbc triangle angle pb sorry angle pcb the pb pcb equal to angle pad already proved this one and angle p is equal to with angle p because it's a common angle so that means triangle pbc similar triangle pad if these two triangles are similar then pc by pa equal to pb by pd now cross multiply so pa into pb equal to pc into pd it's proved